Kim Robinson, and I just wanted to share with you a dream that I had this week that I think will be real encouraging, and I think you'll really enjoy it. And I'd also just want to share with you, that is one of the ways that the Holy Spirit will talk to you is through your dreams. So pay attention to your dreams, write them down, and then the next day, ask him questions. You know, I asked the Holy Spirit, how come you give me these weird dreams? Why don't you just tell me what's going on? And he just, he said, because I want to have a relationship with you. I want you to ask me questions and I want you to listen and let me answer. Because he is our teacher. He is our guide. And uh, Psalms 119 says, those with open hearts are given insights into your plans. So as you keep your heart open, you keep your heart free of offense, free of bitterness, uh, and trust him, trust the Holy Spirit, what he's saying, learn how to hear his voice. He will tell you more. And I am also practicing on StreamYard here. Once I get this down good, I want to go live where I can have comments and I can answer some of your live comments, but I am still kind of I'm practicing on the banners, trying to figure out the scrolling and see what works. You can follow me on Rumble at Heaven is Fun. You can also follow me on Truth Social at Heaven is Fun. I also have a YouTube channel, Heaven is Real and Fun. But anyway, to get back to the dream, let me see if I can hide that. Okay. So to get back to the dream, I wanted to share with you, I had it this week. And so I'm going to tell you the dream and then I'm going to tell you kind of how I broke it down, what the Holy Spirit say, and it's about what's going on right now. So I think this would be real encouraging. So I dreamt that what I saw was a heavily waxed floor. It, had, it just had layers and layers and layers of old buildup wax. And then there was someone pushing a real heavy piece of machinery going across this old build up wax and the machine was using hot water and it had a real sharp edge and as the machine would uh, disperse this hot water the sharp edge would scrape across the old wax and was removing it and so I, whenever I woke up, I asked the Holy Spirit because, you know, after you've been doing this for a while, you've been practicing, which is what you have to do. You practice. I asked the Holy Spirit, what did the old, what did the old wax represent? And he says, wax covers. And he said, this is old wax that has been covering for years. It is old, built up wax that has been covering for years and then the machine I saw the machine going across the old wax and it was it was spraying out hot water and I said because the hot water stood out to me so that's what you pay attention to what stands out to you in your dream sometimes not every single thing that you see is significant so kind of what stands out and so I asked him you know what about the hot water and he said, he laughed and he says, someone's in hot water. <laughs> Do we know who that is? <laughs> Could be a couple of people. But so he, he, he laughed and said, someone's in hot water. And then I asked him um, about the, the sharp edge. And he said, it is a sharp edge, like the double edged sword. He said, it is a sharp edge that is cutting through the old wax. He said, it is removing it. It is scraping up the old wax on the floor, which is under your feet. Remember that the old built up wax is under your feet. You are above it. That's what he was telling me. But he said, this, this machine is scraping and removing the old built up wax. And he said, the machine is a well oiled machine and I think he, he he just seemed like he just it took a long time to put this machine together but it, this machine is well oiled it is um, 
I got the impression it's a group of people that have been working together. They've worked out the bugs and now they are working. They are a weld oiled machine that works together and they are removing this wax. And I saw a person pushing the machine. So I asked the Holy Spirit, well, who is the person? He said, I am the person. He said, I am the one that is guiding this well-oiled machine that is removing the wax that has been covering for years. And he said, it's not something I'm going to do. It's not something I did in the past. He said, it's something I'm doing right now. This is being removed. This is what I'm doing. And I thought, that's really good. I just, and I thought I just really felt like I just wanted to share that because that really blessed me. It encouraged me. It's not, you know, it's not real deep, but <laughs> it was, it was really good. And that's how he talks. Sometimes he talks to you just using practical everyday things, you know, like what I shared, you know, last week. But um, I just wanted to share that with you. And I also was wanting to know if there's anyone out there that is, if you are into motion graphics, if you would be interested in helping me put together a motion graphic intro into this stream yard, it, they're like, what, 30 seconds, 30 second intro or a 30 second exit. I would love it. Let me know. Send me your information. Maybe send me a couple of demos that you've done. And because I would like to have something that is not just the 30 second intro, <laughs> you know, and, um, and a nice exit. So if you're interested in that, please let me know. You can contact me on my website. There you go. You can contact me on my website or send me a message through Facebook the um that is that you can find me on rumble i am going to post this on rumble once i figure out how to do that please please be my friend on uh truth social and heaven is real i also have a youtube channel heaven is real and fun i have a lot of free teaching on there and i just wanted to share um, some of my books with you let me see if i can get that off there you go um the book Heaven is Real and Fun, that's one that uh, since 1988, the Holy Spirit has been taking me to heaven and showing me heaven and showing me fun things in heaven. And I put that all the bunch of stories in a, in a book. And then I had people ask me, how do you do this? How do you step over and be with Jesus? How do you step over and, and to be with Jesus and have Jesus show you around in heaven? And so I put together by the leading of the Holy Spirit, Emmanuel. And that is um, how to access Jesus in the heavenly realm. And in this book, I give you step by, kind of step by step the way the Holy Spirit taught me. You know, it's just very practical teaching and just same as on my YouTube channel. There, I have some a uh, couple of little classes that I did where I just walk you through on how to hear and how to see. And then I also have Jesus sat on a stump. That's the children that I have seen in heaven that were aborted. They have a message for the parents, for the doctors, for the nurses. And I also share, you know, what they were doing. And that is, that's an amazing little book. And people ask me if I have any children's books. I do. I have Jesus is Real and Fun activity book. It's a coloring book. Also has recipes in the back of the book because Jesus cooks. Jesus and I cooked in heaven. We made sugar cookies with chocolate chips. And so I have that recipe. Well, Jesus didn't need a recipe, <laughs> but I did put a recipe in there. And um, at the even at the very end of this children's book, I have a place where you can pray and ask Jesus into your heart. I never leave that out. So that is also there. Uh, I have Fuzzy Bunny and Smiling Monkey, and I think this is kind of written more for adults than it is for children, because in this book, um, it is each page has a different character where a little Fuzzy Bunny is trying to find a friend because Fuzzy Bunny is different than everybody else. <laughs> Can you relate to that? So, so Fuzzy Bunny is trying, he hops through the different characters that kind of represent our life. And so if you read this, 
get it for yourself, read it and ask the Holy Spirit, who does this character represent in my life? Is there someone I need to forgive? And as you forgive them for the hurts, the wounds, the way they treated you, what they said, what they did, what they didn't do, you know, not having time with you, not being a, you know, an, a, an authoritative figure in your life that was good, as you forgive them, it heals your heart. And as your heart gets healed, you can experience the Father, you can experience Jesus, you can experience the Holy Spirit in a greater level. It opens, it opens you up. And so it's supposed to be for children, but I think adults have actually enjoyed it more. But at the end of the, at the, end of the book, um, the, the uh, little monkey, which is actually representing Jesus in the story, asks the bunny to be his friend. And then the last of the book is Jesus is asking the, the child who's reading the story, will you be Jesus's friend? And so it gives them an opportunity at a very young age to say, yes, Jesus, I will be your friend. And it's just, it's an incredible, it's an incredible, powerful little book. And so I encourage you. And I also want to share with you my husband's cookbook. He loves to cook. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and I'm a photographer, so I took all the pictures and I learned through pictures. And so in the cookbook is a, let's see if I can remove that. It's step-by-step -step pictures on like how to, how to cook. Okay. This is harder than it looks. Okay. There we go. It's step-by-step. -step. So this is a chocolate pie and it has step-by-step -step illustrations on how to make things. And so it really helps. Um, I have a recipe in there, how to make cinnamon rolls, how to roll them out, how to slice them. My husband has a bunch of things in there. He smokes, makes smoke ham, smoke. I don't know. He's always smoking something. <laughs> ham or turkey is what he's smoking, guys. Okay. But anyway, I hope you enjoy that. And please share this on your social media so other people can hear about how nice the Holy Spirit is and how he talks to you through your dreams. You know, I obviously I am new at doing stream yards, but I just want to encourage you that when the Holy Spirit asks you to do something, just step out and do it. You know, you'll learn as you go. And I'm learning this. So once I feel comfortable, I am going to go live. And this has live chat so I can answer some of your questions. So I hope you enjoy it. You know what you think. And if you're interested in helping me with uh, motion graphics or even graphic design, some type of 30 second intro or exit, that would be great. So, okay. Be blessed. I hope that blessed you. Hope that encouraged you. And I will see you later. <laughs>